Hey everyone! Welcome to my tutorial on 3D Gaussian splatting using the Insta360 RS1 and some free software. In this video, I'll show you how to create a 3D model from 360 footage that you can move freely, create fast frame animations and apply special effects. This is a dream come true for anyone working with 360 images or videos. Footage For this tutorial, I use 360 footage I shot at the Imar Mall in Istanbul. It took me about 8 minutes to film, and honestly, I could have put in more effort, like taking shots from different heights to get better results. But even with this footage, we can still create an impressive 3D model. Software. The free software I'm using includes Jawset PostShot, 3DF Zephyr Free, Insta360 Studio, and FFmpeg. I'll provide links to these in the description. Process. First, take your 360 footage and create a normal 360 video using Insta360 Studio. Make sure the output is in 8K resolution. Next, use FFmpeg to extract the frames from your video. Open the command prompt in the same folder as your video and type in the line I've provided in the description. Now, use 3DF Zephyr Free to convert each 360 image into four separate images – front, back, left and right. Don't use the up or down images and make sure the angle is set to 92 degrees. Take the extracted frames and import them into Jawset PostShot. This process can take several hours, so be patient. Once Jawset PostShot finishes processing, you'll have your 3D model. You can now freely move around the model, create fast frame animations, delete unwanted elements, and apply special effects like ghost walls. Depth, Map, Tips For the best results, Try to have around 2 meters between your images or about 1 second between frames if you're walking at a normal pace. Remove any unnecessary frames to balance your model. Too few frames will result in a loss of detail, while too many can make the model unusable. Conclusion That's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I also encourage you to join the Jawset PostShot Discord server, linked in the description. Jasha, the developer, is very active and regularly updates the software and answers user questions. Thanks for watching. And please, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our tutorials. Happy modeling!